morning, my small size big mind friends. As you can see behind me, I have all the beautiful decorations of the transition room. I came today to find one of my favorite books to read to you. I know it was a favorite in the transition room for many years, so some of your pre-K kids should remember it as well. And it is called Birds. Put your listening ears on, here we go. In the morning, I hear birds singing through the open window. How many of you have heard birds through the open window? I have, it's a nice sound to wake up to. Birds can be yellow or blue or brown or red or even green, I think. Sometimes they are so black that you can't see them their eyes or their feathers, just their shapes. They look like shadows, don't they? They're so dark. Birds can be big or little or any size in between. Once I even saw seven birds on the telephone wire they didn't move, and they didn't move, and they didn't move, and they didn't move. Then I looked away just for a second, and they were gone. Hmm. If birds made shapes with their feathers when they flew, Think what the sky would look like. Look at all those beautiful designs and patterns of their flight. If clouds were birds, the sky would look like this or this. They're flying around in the day and they're tucking their heads in under their feathers and going to sleep. Sometimes in winter, a bird in a tree looks like one red leaf is left over. Can you spot the red bird in this tree? I bet you can. If there are lots of birds in one tree and they all fly away at the same time, it looks like the tree yelled. Surprise! Whoa, wonder where they're taking off to. Hmm, if I were a bird, I'd ask all the other birds, where do you go when it's stormy and you can't find your nests? I like to pretend I'm a bird. I really can't fly, but I can do this. Anybody remember what it is? I can sing. The end. You know what that makes me want to do? That makes me want to go check out the birds in the pre-K room. So I'm going to meet you all over there in just a minute, okay? All righty. All right, my friends, just about in the pre-K room. Let's go say hi to the birds. <gasps> hmm, where'd the canary go? And let's go see about the parakeet. <gasps> where'd the parakeet go? Let's find the cockatiel. <gasps> no cockatiel. Wait a minute. How about the quail? <gasps> what? No quail? Where do they all go? No fear, my friends. They have nice homes right now. Mr. Malika took the quail and the parakeet. Missy Lona took the cockatiel. And Miss Yvonne took the canary. And they're all enjoying a little vacation in our house. children. I just got home and this is how she says hi. So I'm going to put some music on in a minute and let you hear more singing from your sweet little canary, okay? Well, my friends, I have to tell you, this is the best bird ever. She loves Queen and Elvis. Can't beat that. 
Okay, my friends, bye for now. Let's see if we can find out how your cockatiel is doing at Missy Lona's house. Maybe she'll let that cockatiel say hi to you guys as well. Okay, so keep on the lookout for the cockatiel video. Bye. Well, hello, boys and girls. Are you wondering where Lolo is? Well, there is Lolo. Hey, Lolo, can you say hello? Lolo, we miss you. Lolo is miss at Messy Luna's house. What are you doing, Lolo? Climbing up the side of the cage. You know why Lolo is climbing up? Because my phone is all the way inside the cage. So let me move it out of here. Let's see what Lolo is up to now. Hey, Lolo. There he is. Okay, and look. Oh, Lolo is eyeing the open door of the cage for a minute. Eating something. Lolo, what do you think? There's an open door. What do you think? You want to come out? You want to come out, boo? Come on out. Hello. Hello. Nope, Lolo is going to stay in. Here's Lolo. <laughs>